Philippines. So we were born in the USA. Come on, baby, show them. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, we were born in the USA. Born in the USA. Come on, baby, girl, get up. Born in the USA. We were born in the USA. We were hey. Happy 4th of July, family. Or happy, should I say happy July. Celebrate the whole month of July. Yes, yes, yes. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a nice time and it was a safe one. But for those that are not happy and was in a struggle, still feeling that pain from the loss of the loved one, I still want to encourage you to stay hopeful to stay, keep Christ first and do all that you can to keep your loved one's memory alive. Let the dead bury the dead. In other words, all that negative energy that you're feeling from your loved ones going on that you couldn't say, you didn't do. Stop shooting on yourself. Stop shooting. I should have did, I could have did, I wouldn't have did. Let it go, all that is negative energy. You got to go forth. Jesus said, let the dead bury the dead. We got to move forward. We have to make memories of our loved ones, whatever it is. I'm holding my memory right here, one of them. But I'm going to make plenty more, and I want you to do the same. I encourage you. It is so important to move forward so God can do what he has planned for your life. He's got the glorious plan for your life. You got to open it up and receive it. Let go. Let God. This thing is real. The struggle is real. I know some of you might have lost loved ones this month. Uh, birthdays come of loved ones. You want to suppress, you want to let go of the past, and it just these days and these times that just keep coming, and you don't feel like you can. Give it to God. He will comfort you. He will keep you. He is the keeper. He is the healer of all. Believe it. Don't get mad because we took them home. Death is inevitable. We all got to go one day. There's two things that I know for sure. We have a death day and a birthday. We have an interest day and an exit day. We all do. We can't get past that. The way he called us home, that's on him. But what we have to do is stay true to him, stay prayerful. I am praying with you. I am praying for you. The best is yet to come. And uh, I approve this message. This message is from your sister, Soul Survivor.